Hello. Okay, so we're going to do get the last couple of pages done. Problem number 46, it says, which graph represents the quadratic function y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 7x minus 3? All right. Um, I believe we solved this one the other day, but let's jump. Oh, no, no, I didn't. I got busy and, and I changed some things and decided I need to go back. Okay, so um, first off, uh, we know that this is a, our a value is negative. So this is a sad parabola. Since this is a sad parabola, let's see which one. We can cancel out h or, and j. Both of those are happy parabolas, so we can cancel out both of those. The only choices are f and g for in terms of our graph. So, um, one of these has no real solutions, and then the other one has a real solution. So, um, we can actually, uh, we can look this in, quick and easiest way to do this is go ahead and put the graph in our graphing calculator. Um, so, I have negative uh, 3x, and I have squared plus 7x minus 3, and I'm on the second graph, graph. Um, and my graph says the answer is G. But let's double check, um, just in case you, you can't remember how to graph it or whatever. Um, the easiest way to do this is to find our determinant. All right, that means because the reason I'm going to look at the determinant is because this one here has no real solutions, and this one has two real solutions. Okay? So what that means is that I can look at the number, the value, so B squared minus 4 AC, that's our determinant. And if it's um, less than zero, that means we have no real solutions. And if it's greater than zero, that means we have two real solutions. And if it's equal to zero, we have one real solution. <clears throat> so um, my B value is my coefficient with the X. So that's going to be 7 squared, which is going to give me 49, minus 4, times the value of A, which is negative 3, times the value of C, which is negative 3. Okay, now negative 4, negative 4 times negative 3 times negative 3 will give me negative 36. So that's going to be 49 minus 36, which 49 minus 36 is going to give me 13. That is greater than 0, so that will give me real solutions. So I know that f is definitely, in fact, my choice. So that's the quick and easiest way to solve that problem. Number 48, um, which... The graph uh, shown below, which of the graph um, is the equations? All righty. Um, so let's see. All of these are in quadratic form. And I'm trying to think of which one would be the easiest way to solve this one. Um, okay. So we have two points. We have our zeros. So I know that we know we have our zeros. So that's going to be. Now look, our zero here is negative 3. Two. So that means that x is equal to negative 3 halves. Well, in order to talk about what that polynomial is, because remember, these are the two perfect points that are in our quadratic. If I were to set a number uh, this equal to 0, then the top would be my value here on my right side of my binomial, and then the bottom would be the left side. Okay, so it would be 2x plus 3. Let me show you how quick how quick that would work. Because if I set 2x plus 3 is equal to 0, and I subtract 3 from both sides, that's going to give me 2x um, is equal to negative 3, divide by both sides by 2, so x is going to be equal to negative 3 halves. So you see how that worked? All right, so that's one of our binomials. Okay, so that worked out. Now, our second binomial, we don't really have to worry. It's not going to be as difficult as that one, but it's not really that difficult either. Um, our second binomial is um, x is equal to 1, so inside the parentheses is going to be opposite, so that's going to be x minus 1. Now, we're going to multiply both of these binomials together, so we're going to take 2x plus 3 times x minus 1. Oops. I'm doing, chain, moving things around so I have room. So that's 2x minus, plus 3 times x minus 1. And I'm going to distribute this, so that's going to be 2x times x, so that's 2x squared. All right, well, that right there, just discounted that one, that one, and that one, and we are done. But let's just double check so we can finish this out, um, make sure that it's correct. So 2x times negative 1 will give me negative 2x. Uh, 3 times x will give me positive 3x. And then that positive 3 times negative 1 will give me negative 3. So that's going to give me 2x squared plus x minus 3. Yes, that matches. That is correct. So we are good in that question. <clears throat> All 
Number 49. Says the population of a town is 75,000 and decreases 1.5% each year. Which exponential function models the population after X years? Well, okay. Um, we have our starting value, so our A value is 75,000. And all of these have 75,000, so that should have been a given. We shouldn't have had to worry about too much to that. Now, if we remember, when we have a percentage rate and it's decrease, all right, whenever we see a, a, a percentage rate, we're going to think 1 plus or minus. So since, and if it's decrease, it's going to be minus the percentage rate in decimal form. So our B value is going to be equal to 1 minus, and then I need to convert that 1.5 to decimal, so that's going to be 0 0.015. 1 minus 0 0.015 will give us point B is going to be equal to 0 0.985, which is our answer choice C. All right, see you in the next video where I will cover the last page.